Welcome to today's lesson on the histology of the male reproductive system. In this lesson, we will explore the microscopic anatomy of various structures involved in the male reproductive process. We will delve into the intricate details of the testes, epididymis, vas deferens, seminal vesicles, prostate gland, bulbiurethral glands, penis, urethra, spermatogenesis, sperm structure and function, male reproductive hormones, and male infertility. By the end of this lesson, you will have a comprehensive understanding of the histological features and functions of these remarkable organs and their role in human reproduction. So let's begin our journey into the microscopic world of the male reproductive system. The testes are male reproductive organs that produce sperm and testosterone. They are located in the scrotum and have a complex structure called seminiferous tubules. Sertoli cells support and nourish sperm cells, while germ cells undergo divisions to produce mature spermatozoa. Latig cells produce testosterone. The epididymis is a highly coiled tubular structure that lies along the posterior aspect of each testis. It serves as a site for the maturation and storage of sperm. Histologically, the epididymis consists of a pseudostratified columnar epithelium with stereocilia that enhance spermatozoa absorption and transport. The cells of the epididymis also secrete substances that support sperm maturation and provide protection against pathogens. As sperm move through the epididymis, they undergo extensive structural and functional changes, acquiring the ability to fertilize an egg. The vas deferens, also known as the ductus deferens, is a muscular tube that transports mature sperm from the epididymis to the urethra during ejaculation. Histologically, the vas deferens exhibits a thick muscular middle layer called the muscularis, which allows for peristaltic contractions that propel sperm forward. The inner lining is composed of pseudostratified columnar epithelium with stereocilia, similar to that seen in the epididymis. These histological features enable the vas deferens to play a crucial role in the transport and storage of sperm. The seminal vesicles are paired glands located posterior to the base of the bladder. Histologically, they consist of highly convoluted tubules with a pseudostratified columnar epithelium. The epithelial cells secrete substances rich in fructose, prostaglandins, and other nutrients that provide energy for sperm motility and protect them from the acidic environment of the female reproductive tract. The seminal vesicles contribute a significant portion of the ejaculate volume. The prostate gland is a single, walnut-sized gland situated just below the bladder. Histologically, the prostate gland is composed of numerous glands lined by simple or pseudostratified columnar epithelium. These glands secrete an alkaline fluid rich in citric acid, enzymes, and prostate-specific antigen, PSA. The prostate fluid forms a major component of semen, contributing to sperm motility and viability. The bulbiurethral glands, also known as Cooper's glands, are small pea-sized glands located near the base of the penis. Histologically, they exhibit a simple columnar or pseudostratified columnar epithelium with mucus-secreting cells. During sexual arousal, these glands secrete a lubricating mucus that helps in the passage of sperm and enhances the comfort of sexual intercourse. The penis is the external male genital organ involved in sexual intercourse and the expulsion of urine and semen. Histologically, it consists of three cylindrical bodies, two corpora cavernosa and one corpus spongiosum. The corpora cavernosa are erectile tissues composed of cavernous spaces lined with endothelial cells and surrounded by smooth muscle fibers. The corpus spongiosum surrounds the urethra and contains smaller vascular spaces. Histological examination reveals a complex arrangement of blood vessels, nerves, and connective tissue that enables the penis to achieve and maintain an erection. The urethra is a tubular structure that transports urine from the bladder and semen from the ejaculatory ducts to the external environment. Histologically, the urethra varies depending on its location. The prostatic urethra has transitional epithelium, while the membranous and spongy, penile, urethra exhibit stratified and pseudostratified columnar epithelium, respectively. These variations in epithelial lining reflect the functional differences along the length of the urethra. Spermatogenesis is the process by which spermatogonia in the seminiferous tubules differentiate into mature, functional spermatozoa. Histologically, this multi-step process involves several stages, including mitotic divisions, meiotic divisions, and spermiogenesis. Each stage is characterized by distinct changes in nuclear and cellular morphology, reflecting the transformation of germ cells into highly specialized spermatozoa. Spermatozoa, the mature male gametes, possess a unique structure optimized for fertilization. Histologically, a spermatozoan consists of a head, midpiece, and tail. The head contains condensed genetic material, including the haploid nucleus and acrosome, which plays a crucial role in penetrating the oocyte during fertilization. The midpiece contains mitochondria, providing energy for sperm motility, while the tail, or flagellum, propels sperm through the female reproductive tract towards the egg. 
the male reproductive system is regulated by a complex interplay of hormones. Histologically, the organs responsible for the production of hormones such as testosterone include the Leydig cells in the testes and the adrenal glands. These endocrine tissues exhibit characteristic features, such as abundant lipid droplets in Leydig cells and distinct layers in the adrenal cortex. Understanding the histology of these hormone-producing structures is vital for comprehending the hormone-mediated regulation of male reproduction. Male infertility can arise from various factors, including impaired sperm production, motility, or structural abnormalities. Histological examination of testicular biopsies and other reproductive structures allows for the identification of underlying causes, such as testicular atrophy, germ cell aplasia, or obstruction of the ductal system. Histopathological analysis plays a crucial role in diagnosing and guiding the management of male infertility. By examining the histology of the male reproductive system, we gain valuable insights into its intricate organization and functions. This knowledge aids in comprehending the physiological processes underlying male reproduction, facilitating the diagnosis and treatment of reproductive disorders and impacting the lives of individuals and families.